Let's explain HIE levels. Have you heard that your child's HIE is mild, moderate, or severe? We're gonna break it down on when that's mentioned. The Sarnet scale is used to determine the severity of presentation at birth or injury to guide treatment, not necessarily predict outcomes. It was developed in 1976. While it's still used today, it's still before modern treatments and protocols. It's used to guide treatment protocols, such as giving anti-seizure medications and meeting cooling requirements. Babies change constantly, so leveling and staging isn't very relevant as days move forward. Not all families will receive a greater level. It varies widely how it's used and communicated. MRI level. MRI imaging is the standard imaging for looking at the brain overall and the potential damage from HIE, but it has its limitations. Because babies' brains are 88% water, adult brains are 77%, making it difficult to see all damage that may be present. The MRI level is really hard to determine exactly how a brain will recover from HIE. MRIs are a diagnostic tool, not prognostic. Practitioners are going to look at where they see variations and analyze what could result in an outcome or effect, depending on where they see the damage. It's important to note we have hundreds of families whose children had clear MRIs and still have effects from HIE, and those with global damage MRIs who have minimal or no effects, and everything in between. Let's look at clinical levels. What it comes down to is the clinical assessment moving forward in your child's journey with HIE. For many, it won't be known how HIE fully affects the patient for many years. This is what we call the wait and see of HIE. There's different developmental domains that will be assessed, and each domain has its own level of expectations and challenges across gross motor, fine motor, communication, cognitive, social, and adaptive domains. HIE presents in so many different ways. No two injuries and recoveries are the same. You can find this chart and many others on hopeforhie.org. We are here to support our families. No matter what you may go through on this journey, we're here for you. Visit hopeforhie.org for more resources and connect with our global community of over 6,000 families. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or Pinterest.